This week, we've got impact fights, resips, prize shelves, more impacts, planers, and a monkey riding zero turn into space. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. Today's episode is brought to you by Ohio Power Tool, Pro Tools, Pro Service at the best prices at OhioPowerTool.com. And Skill, the tools to do the job, the technology to do it better. Welcome back, Power Tool fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And this week, the Dirt Monkey got his hands on Ego's Z652 inch riding mower, removed the deck, and rode wheelies because that's what Dirt Monkeys do. Dan has a reputation for being less than gentle with tools he's sent to review. So, why would we ever assume the Z6 would be different? He, of course, goes over all of the specs and details to make this thing the beast that it is. All well and fun, I know. But who cuts their grass like that? Sarah, it's a little early in the show to be kind of freaking out like that. I mean, he does a wonderful job testing the mower, cutting tall grass in normal patterns. Then he proceeds to run the thing through a swamp and gets it stuck. All right. Well, I think that's going to conclude our mower test. Tim Johnson also got his hands on the Z6, and after a lot of testing and actual mowing patterns, he seemed to be impressed with the thing. He goes over why the $7,000 price tag could be worth it for you and your lawn, so to find out if you need a race car lawn mower from Ego, head over to Shop Tool Reviews. And to learn how to pop wheelies on your Z6, go check out Stanley Dirt Monkey Genetic. <laughs> Moving on, Ryan and James have never been bashful about their love for Big Red. This week, in an apparent attempt to ensure a win, they decided to compare one to the cheapest impact they could find. That makes sense. That is the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Half Inch High Torque Impact Wrench, and that, well, I think that's a Hychika? which is apparently a tool company and not a Pokemon. Specifically, that's the Hychika cordless impact wrench, which comes with three lovely sockets in primary colors, because why not? After pitting them against each other for a while, driving lag bolts, removing the wheels from James' car, and finding the rustiest bolts they could, they were still undecided. So they took a trip to the big boy toy store and started removing nuts from a farm lift. So who won? James or Ryan? Pokemon or Milwaukee? Spoiler alert, James lost, like, a lot. He was not happy about it. Pluses and minuses. <laughs> How do you <laughs> you got on side, simple as that, hands down. <laughs> Throw it in the bin. These two are easily some of the most entertaining tool reviews on YouTube, so be sure to check them out at Machinery Nation. Earlier this week, one of our production crew members pointed us to this guy. That's Joe, and this week he reviewed a Triton thickness planer. That is the Triton TPT-125 thickness planer, and for the last few years, Joe's been putting it to work in his shop and figured now was a good time to share his thoughts. He goes over the features of the planer, and for those new to planing, he offers a quick explanation of how it works. He likes the portability, cutting capacity, the fold-out tray, and the build quality. The only downsides for Joe is the snipe and the noise, but overall, he really likes it. Sandy, thank you so much for introducing us to his channel. Guys, you need to go watch Joe's video, and if you liked it, give him a thumbs up and a sub at Average Joe's Joinery. So last week we told you about the updates to our production crew's $2,000 power tool shelves, one of which we're giving away tomorrow, by the way. Now, we just added a new Skill Power Core 40 volt OPE shelf, complete with custom fertilizer for your lawn from the lawn care nut himself, and I mentioned that we wanted to add a pair of work boots to the shelf as well. Rob asked you guys to suggest work boot brands and boy did you. You guys really came through. You mentioned 22 brands of work boots. We added up the votes and got this top five list. At number five, we've got Wolverine. At four, Thorough Goods. Three, Timberland Pro. Tied at number two is Keen and Ariette with seven votes each. And finally, the number one with 14 votes was Red Wing. So I reached out to Red Wing to see if they could help us pick some boots. If I don't hear back, I'll just buy a gift card for the winner. And we're picking our next winner tomorrow, June 25th, during our next production crew live show. Dang, that came up fast. They always seem to sneak up on us, don't they? Well, we figured it was time for an update on all of the shelves and potentially give our winner a sneak peek into what they could choose from this weekend. Let's start with Makita. This shelf has been around since the very beginning. Matter of fact, if a Makita fan doesn't pick it soon, we may have to replace it. If we do, let me know what you think the brand should be in the comments. If you win and choose the Makita shelf, you will get an XGT 40 volt, seven and a quarter inch circular saw, the XGT hammer drill driver impact driver kit, the cordless fan, two different impact wrenches, an XGT light, the recip saw, and finally an interchangeable adapter. And of course, there's no point using Pro Tools without Pro Accessories, so all four shelves come with a complete set of spider bits, blades, hole saws, and more. As Rob mentioned a few minutes ago, the new shelf we just added last week is stocked with Skills Power Core 40 outdoor power equipment. 
My personal favorites because I use all of these on my property every single week. We have the Scale PowerCore 40 Blower String Trimmer Combo, the Pull Saw, the Chainsaw, a Hedge Trimmer, and the Crispy Self-Propelled Mower. Now that's not on the shelf because the box is huge and I didn't want to try to get it up there, but it's awesome and I have it and I love it. Now our third shelf was put together by our good friend, the one and only Rob Robillard from Toolbox Buzz, the Concord Carpenter himself. Now he chose mostly tools from Milwaukee, like the M18 Fuel Combo Kit that includes a hammer drill, impact, and reset. There's a seven and a quarter inch circular saw, a three and a quarter inch hand planer, a palm router, a random orbit sander, a multi-tool, and of course, a barrel grip jigsaw. Blessed, Blessed be. be. Rob also chose several hand tools that have made his job easier on the job site, like a speed square, a voltage detector, a block plane, pencil compass, channel lock pliers, a screwdriver, a peak of marker, a stud pop, a tourniquet, and of course, a Milwaukee Rover light. And our final shelf was put together by our buddy Matt at 731 Woodworks. Matt chose a DeWalt router, drill driver set, sander, and a miter saw. There's a chisel set, Masca M2 Pro pocket hole jig, a double square, Pessy clamps, Jorgensen clamps, and Craig's setup blocks. But he didn't think that was enough, so he and Mrs. 731 are throwing in a $250 gift card for anything extra that he might have missed. Oh, and last of all, we actually haven't told Matt this yet, <laughs> but we think his shelf needs more. So I'm going to reach out to him and give him another. 500 bucks to spend on additional tools. Now, if you think you know what he should add, tell him in the comments. At the end of each month, we go live and randomly call one of our channel members and let them choose a shelf. It's a ton of fun, and we have a bunch of additional prizes that we also give out to anyone in the chat. So even if you're not a member, be sure to set a reminder to join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for some fun and maybe win something for yourself. Marius from Mastery Mayhem was in Lowe's this week where he found the new Tough Built Quick Set Workbench, which claims to hold a seriously impressive 1,000 pounds. Now, most of us would find this in the aisle, be impressed by the numbers printed on the packaging and just buy it. But not Marius. He took it to the concrete aisle and loaded it up with 1,092 pounds because why not? And it seemed to handle it just fine. The new workbench features instant setup and fold away handle mechanisms and has Tough Built's popular Clip Tech compatible corners so you can securely hang your Tough Built Clip Tech belts and tool bags. It's available exclusively at Lowe's right now for just $99. Tools and Stuff got his hands on the second generation Makita XGT 40 volt recip saw this week. Seriously, how do we have a second gen XGT tool already? Who cares, new tools. And to test the Gen 2, he gets out the Gen 1 and adds a Hikoki recip that looks kind of like a Transformers arm. After reviewing the features, he puts all three to work on a really wide variety of tests, all of which are super fun to watch. And in the end, he actually declares this to be the best recip Makita has ever made. For the full details, hit up Tools and Stuff. And last but not least, Dave over at Man Caver Tools continues his impact driver showdown with round two. This time the contenders are the Milwaukee 2857 M18 fuel impact and the Hilti SID 622 22 volt impact. Both very capable tools aimed directly at professional work. Besides running them through the MCT tree stump, Dave spends a bit of time addressing Hilti's sales process. He makes a pretty good case for Hilti to get their new neuron tools into Home Depot, specifically in kits that include discounted batteries and accessories, just as their big competitors have done for for a long time. Speaking of, Rob and I just so happened to spend all day with our local Hilti team this week, visiting the store and had a ride along with their sales team to see how Hilti is serving its customers. We'll be sharing that adventure with you right here on Belts and Boxes very soon. Tomorrow's a big day, guys. We'll be here at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a bunch of fun giveaways that anybody can win, so we really hope you join us. And then this Tuesday, Rob and I will be live with Milwaukee in Wisconsin for several new tool reveals that you won't want to miss. So be sure to set your timers, boys. I want to thank Skill and Ohio Power Tool for sponsoring this episode. Guys, we couldn't do this without you. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>